Hello, and welcome to this video on the basics of radiation. We'll take a quick look at what it is, sources of radiation, how it's measured, and its health effects. First, what exactly is radiation? Radiation is a form of energy that travels through space or matter, either as waves or particles. Electromagnetic radiation, such as visible light, radio waves, x-rays, and gamma rays, travels in the form of waves. The energy that these waves carry depends on their frequency. Higher frequencies mean more energy. Particle radiation, on the other hand, involves actual matter, such as alpha and beta particles. Now, one of the key ways we classify radiation is by its ability to ionize atoms. Ionizing radiation, such as X-rays, gamma rays, alpha and beta particles, has enough energy to remove electrons from atoms, creating a positively charged ion in a process called ionization. The problem with ionizing radiation is that it can cause damage. At a cellular level, it can break DNA strands or disrupt cell function, leading to mutations, impaired healing, or even cell death. On the other hand, non-ionizing radiation, like radio waves or visible light, do not carry enough energy to remove electrons. Another characteristic of ionizing radiation is how deeply it can penetrate materials. For example, alpha particles can be stopped by something as thin as the skin. Beta particles can be stopped by a layer of clothing. And gamma rays are highly penetrating and require dense shielding, like lead or thick concrete. So, where does radiation come from? Radiation is all around us, coming from both natural and human-made sources. Natural sources include radiation from space, known as cosmic rays, and radiation from the Earth itself, known as terrestrial radiation. The soil and rocks around us contain radioactive elements. Even the food we eat and the water we drink can contain tiny amounts of radioactive substances. Then, there are human-made sources. These include medical procedures like x-rays, CT scans, and radiation therapy, which are some of the most common sources of exposure today. There's also radiation from industrial activities like mining or nuclear energy. Some consumer items, like smoke detectors, may contain small amounts of radioactive material. Even tobacco products and certain older products, like glow-in-the-dark radium watch dials, can be sources of radiation. A radiation emergency is any unexpected event that leads to, or could lead to, the release of radioactive material into the environment. This could happen in a number of ways, such as the use or testing of nuclear weapons, or accidents at nuclear facilities. It can also result from exposure to orphan sources, radioactive materials that have been abandoned, lost, or stolen, or from incidents in industry, research, transport, or medicine. Now let's take a look at how we measure radiation. Radiation can be measured in several ways, depending on what exactly we're trying to assess. Radioactivity is the release of energy as radiation from an unstable atom as it decays into a more stable form. It's measured in becquerels, where one becquerel equals one decay event per second. Each radioactive material also has a half-life. That's the time it takes for half of the atoms in a sample to decay. This helps us understand how long a material will remain hazardous. To detect radiation, a Geiger counter is often used and is useful for checking if radiation is present. Now, if we want to know how much radiation energy something has absorbed, we look at the absorbed dose. This is measured in grays, where one gray equals one joule of radiation energy absorbed per kilogram of matter. But not all types of radiation cause the same amount of biological damage. That's where the equivalent dose comes in. It adjusts the absorbed dose with a weighting that depends on the type of radiation. For example, alpha particles are more damaging than gamma rays, so they're given a higher weighting. The equivalent dose is measured in sieverts. Then, there's the effective dose, which goes a step further. It takes into account which parts of the body are exposed, because some tissues, like bone marrow or reproductive organs, are more sensitive to radiation than others. The effective dose is also measured in sieverts. Now let's have a look at how radiation exposure occurs and the health effects. Exposure to radiation can happen in different ways. One type is called irradiation. This happens when the body is exposed to penetrating radiation from a source. Another type is contamination. 
External contamination refers to radioactive materials that settle on the body's surface, such as the skin, hair, or clothing. Internal contamination occurs when radioactive materials enter the body through breathing, eating, absorption through the skin, or injection. If those radioactive materials are absorbed and taken up by cells, tissues, or organs, this process is called incorporation. So, what are the health effects? Well, that depends on several factors. These include how much of the body was exposed, the dose, duration of exposure and rate, the type of radiation, which tissues were affected, the individual's age and overall health, and the quality of medical care available. The health effects can be broadly categorized as early or delayed. Early effects occur within hours to weeks after exposure. One of the most serious is acute radiation syndrome. This syndrome can develop when the whole body, or most of it, is exposed to a high dose of penetrating ionizing radiation over a short period of time. It can cause damage to vital organs, such as the bone marrow, digestive tract, brain, and heart. Cutaneous radiation injury may also occur, leading to significant skin damage. Then, there are the delayed effects, which can appear months or even years later. These include leukemia, solid cancers, cardiovascular problems, cataracts, and immune system suppression. Unborn babies and children are especially vulnerable because their developing tissues are more sensitive to radiation damage. And that's a quick overview of radiation. We explored what radiation is, sources, how it's measured, and health effects. For more information, have a look at the websites below.